number of cases here. Those confirmed numbers can only be as high as, of course, the number of people that we test here in western New York. So where does our area stand when it comes to testing supplies and lab capabilities? Twin your side, Steve Brown looks into that for us tonight. If more coronavirus testing for Western New York is the goal, then how do we get there? Because government and public labs have been running into the very same problem, not enough testing supplies. But what about private laboratory companies? Outfits like Quest and LabCorp have also been doing testing. Quest announced Monday it anticipated being able to do about 50,000 tests a day nationwide. Today, we asked County Executive Mark Polencars if the region would be better served by partnering with a big lab company. He didn't think so. Uh, one of the problems that we're seeing with Quest and LabCorp and uh, BioReference is they're not able to get results back in a quick amount of time. As we noted, uh, we just finally got this large dump of cases, or not cases, I should say, test results from Quest, some of them dating back to Thursday because of problems with their delivery of it. And Poland Cars points out when Erie County first started doing coronavirus testing, Quest and LabCorp were not testing. And he notes that those companies seem to be bedeviled by the very same issues that county labs and hospital labs have been plagued with for weeks, not being able to get their hands on testing kits and testing reagent. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.